Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Magic Touch laser transfer paper on hard surfaces like packing material, boxes, you can even put them on paper bags as well. Of course you can apply them to ceramic, stainless steel, all types of mugs, hard surfaces that's not sublimation coated. You heard it right. So I'm going to be pressing this laser transfer paper. I got this from Heat Press Nation. So it comes in two different sizes, 100 sheets each in the pack. This is your A4 paper and it comes in A3 paper size as well. You can get it from Heat Press Nation. So all the products that I use for today's video will be linked down below in the description box as always. And for today's project, I am going to be using my white toner printer. You have to have a white toner printer in order to use this. And I'm going to be using my Luminaris 200 from Recoma. I'm also going to be using my heat press, my HTV Ront. That's my 15 by 15. That one will be linked down below as well all of my hard substrates and I'll be using my 7-in-1 Signature Series Mug Press from Heat Press Nation along with the star of the show, the Magic Touch CPM 6.2 laser hard surface paper from heat press nation guys if this is your first time here welcome to my channel this is the long awaited video i've had this paper for about a month and i've been waiting for the perfect time to do it and show it to you so if you do not have a sublimation printer or you want to be able to get full color images transfers using dark mugs or unsupplemented mugs so this is the long awaited video. I've been sitting on this paper for about a good month. So I've been sitting on this paper for about a good month now. I really wanted to try this particular brand because it's a one step process. No peeling, no weeding involved, and you don't have to dip it in cold water like I've seen with some hard surface paper. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. Because there's no sublimation involved, you do not need sublimation coated mugs. So this is a regular Dollar Tree mug. No coating at all involved on the mug. You can do it on ceramics, stainless steel, of course hard surfaces. The paper already comes prepared and backed already so that way it allows you to apply it to any hard substrate so guys i'm going to jump right into today's video and if you like what you see here if this is your first time welcome stick around for a while join the channel go ahead like and subscribe and turn on your notification bells that way you're notified every time i post a new video because i do post weekly content tutorials diys and everything behind my business to help you grow yours so now I'm going to go ahead, jump into desktop mode, print out my images and show you how to apply your paper. Let's get started. I'm in my Lumen Rip software and all I'm doing is importing some images that I'm going to print out. I'm going to crop this image to just bring it in a little closer so that way I can get a more accurate measurement of how big it is. Take out all this excess space. This measures around six by four inches. I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit more because it doesn't need to be that big. All right, and I'm going to take this over to the other image as well. And I'm going to make one a little bit smaller, put on a mug. This one I'm going to put on a box. Okay, and I'm going to import some other images. I'm going to import this boss mom. I'm going to bring that in to about three inches to fit on a mug. I like this image. All my images I got from Creative Fabrica other than my logos. My logos I had created myself. This does not import images onto the same file. You know, you have to move them over. That's the only thing I don't like. So now I will need to flip horizontally. I'll have to mirror all of my images. So keep that in mind. I am going to go back and do that. So I'm just going to mirror. Click each one and mirror. 
Okay, so I have all of my images right here ready to go. So you want to first make sure you have the correct paper size and I'm on the A4, 8.25 by 11.69. So that's correct. And then you want to come down here and you want to change your mode, change the paper. You want to change the mode. You want to change the type of paper. So right now it's on the standard two step. That's for the regular laser white toner paper. So I'm just going to click the drop down and I'm going to go to premium hard surface one step paper. Okay. So I'm make sure you click that if you're using the paper for the hard surface. So I'm going to click that. Everything else is correct. It's in the bypass tray and I'm going to go ahead and send to print. So up close, this is the magic touch paper. Again, I'm using the A4 paper size. And this is my Luminaris 200 from Recoma. It has all of the instructions right here on it. I love it when the paper has, um, you know, your watermark. So that way you'll know what side is the front and what side is the back. So both white, but it does have a watermark on one side. Really smooth, really soft paper. It's really silky. So I'm just going to open up my tray. I'm going to take out my regular laser printer paper. This is the A and B laser paper. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to place this in. I believe it's going to flip. I believe it's going to flip. So I'm just going to place it in with the watermark up, hoping that I'm doing it on the right side, making sure my tabs are all the way in. I'm going to press that down and I'm going to slide that in. Okay, and now I'm going to print out my images. Okay, so it's getting ready to print and it's going to come out from the top. I have my printer in this new rack now, so you won't be able to see it right up on um, time it prints out, but I'll show you it up close after it comes out. Okay, I didn't catch it on camera only because it kept saying I was out of paper, so I had to add more paper in the tray and then I flipped it and I printed it on the wrong side. So I'm going to do it again. So I had it, I wasn't quite sure which way to put the paper um, because this is a different type of paper. So I had it with the um, watermark face up. So I need to turn it and put it face down. It's going to print straight out or however it rotates in this machine. So printable side of the paper facing up, watermark the back facing down and I'm going to send it to print again. There we go. Let's get it. Beautiful. On the correct side. So I'm setting my mug press to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to press for 60 seconds. And here's how the paper came out. The images, they came out so vibrant. I love the way it looks. I love the feel and the finish of it. Nice and silky. But guess what? Even though I mirrored my images inside of my Luma Rip software, it actually mirrored it back for me. So I'm going to have to reprint again. I didn't even realize it until afterwards. But this is a one-step paper where there's no weeding involved. All you have to do is trim around it and place it on your substrate. I'm going to put one on the box for like a logo for branding and I'm going to put some on some mugs. So I'm going to get my heat transfer tape and get everything set up. So first I'm going to start off with the Dollar Tree mug. Dollar Tree mug and I'm going to use my Boss Mom image. Look how those colors came out. Oh this one isn't mirrored. Are you kidding me? I forgot to flip this one. Come on, I'm going to print it again. I'm going to print it again because I really want that image. All right, so I finally got my paper to mirror correctly, but um, I'm not sure if I'm running out of ink or what. Because you see how vibrant my black is right here, how vibrant my colors are. But this one is not printing out correct. But I am going to go ahead and just press these. So I'm going to cut these out. You do not have to worry about weeding or cutting out images, you know, with like a Cricut machine or anything like that or Cameo. All you have to do is just simply cut them out if you have multiple images and place them on your project. You can put this on wood. You can put this on acrylic, stainless steel so many different things. 
I'm going to do the stainless steel one first just to test it out. I'm going to put this image on it. Make sure you have heat transfer tape. Still need to heat, put heat transfer tape on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the mud press. All right, 300 degrees only for one minute. I'm gonna make sure that's down. Let me make sure I have good pressure. I need to tighten that up some. All right, so I'm gonna adjust my knobs in the rear. Okay, my image is down. I'm gonna close that in. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. Let's see, that part should be good. I'm going to let this cool down. It needs to cool completely down. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and peel this one back. This is the first one. Let's see if this worked. Look at that. That is on there. Now I know it's not a really bright image because of the silver backing but let's go ahead and put it on something else so that way you can see it all right but everything transferred this is permanent let's do another one okay so this is my htv raw it will be linked down below in the description box everyone always asks what heat press is this got it off of amazon i have it set for 300 degrees fahrenheit with 60 seconds as well on the clock I'm going to cover it with a Teflon and I'm going to let it go down. Alrighty. So I'm going to let this cool down. It's pretty hot. And then I'll peel it off to see how it turned out. Oh, you see? Yeah, I need more pressure. More pressure. So let's switch heat presses man oh man okay so i'm on my trans pro plus heat press from pro world i'm gonna repress this just to see if i can get it to work 300 degrees 60 seconds again and this time i'm gonna apply firm pressure check my pressure i really have firm pressure on there that time all right, and this is again a cool peel so I'm just going to set it aside all right I'm gonna go ahead and press the box now see if I can get that to transfer same thing 300 degrees 60 seconds I can see that really clear through there hopefully y'all can see that too so I'm hoping it transferred hoping I got it all to stick down I had my heat press on like number nine so my firmness was really really firm all right so I'm gonna let that cool down as well as you see I did not burn my box <laughs> at all all right first let's do this one remove the tape my nails are horrible I know I'm gonna get my nails done this week I have to go out of town for a funeral guys look at that look at that guys only a little bit was left on there and that's because I repressed it I lifted a little bit but that looks great if I had not lifted it the first time and had I did it with the right pressure the very first time it would have been perfect those colors are popping all right so I'm hoping that the box transferred my box curled up a little bit but that's okay that is okay let's see how this box turned out this is my first time I always wanted to like do some branding on boxes so if this works out y'all it's about to be on and popping all right so this is like really stuck down I probably had too much firm pressure on here oh my goodness all right so that's what we don't want so it's probably too much firm pressure it's sticking oh my god yeah, the white is coming off. All right, so too much pressure. Too much pressure on that one. I got to find my sweet spot. But look at that. Don't want that for sure. So some of the glue came off. 
Um, so I definitely have to find my sweet spot. This was too firm, so I will test it again. But let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, so I have a 17 ounce latte mug. Okay, I'm just gonna put this image on. Okay, heat press is warmed up. Just gonna take that. Really wanna see how vivid the image is gonna be on a white mug. I'll put the image on that side. Okay, that's ready. Take that out. Let that cool off just a little bit. All right, let's see how this one turned out. Look at that. Look at that. Woo, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Black girl magic. Beautiful. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Just like sublimation, literally. And of course, you can wash this. You can wash this. So now let's do a Dollar Tree mug. So this is the image I wanted to do with the boss mom, you know, cause the letters are black, but this one is a little bit bluish. And of course the one that came out perfect did not mirror. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on here. I'd rather have this one on here than the one where it's unreadable. So I'm just gonna do this. Again, no coating on the mugs. No coating on the mugs. I lowered it just a little bit because of the brim. I have to sit it below the brim. All right, I'm gonna put that one in. And if you notice, I'm not even using butcher paper because it's not sublimation. The ink is not transferring. There we go. This one is ready. Take this one out. Let that one cool off. In the meantime, I'm going to be using my Walla Press to do another mug because this one is um, a little bit smaller. So it's still a little bit too small for that one. So I'm just going to put this one in here and I'm going to press this. You can't control the pressure with this one. I'm going to close that up. And I can't control the time with this one either. So I'm just going to let that um, press and see how that turns out. Let's unveil the Dollar Tree mug. Still a little hot, but um, hopefully it's okay. Oh, come on now. First of all, that came out perfect. I don't know what the image was showing, but that came out perfect. I hope my ring light is not like distorting the image. Let me turn my ring light around. Uh, my light in my room is so bad. But guys, the black, I was worried. Come on now, Dollar Tree mug. Okay, let's do that. Guys, do y'all see that? This is a Dollar Tree mug. No sublimation coating whatsoever. This ring light is really pissing me off. Um, let me move it. But I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. But look at that. Look at that. Guys, that's on there. That's on there. It's a little crooked. I'm mad because, you know, it's kind of hard to see through the white paper. But look at that. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Okay, magic touch. Magic touch. All right, so let's look at the last one. The last one that I did. And I did this one in the Walla Press. So this one I'm a little nervous about because I couldn't control the temperature nor the time. But these mugs, whenever I supplement them, they supplement perfect in that one only because this is a smaller size mug. All right. So I wanted to be able to show it on here as well. And let's see, nope, and it didn't. So pressure is key. So I'm glad I'm showing you this. I messed up my mug, I'm mad. I hope I can get this off. Um, but, cause this is a nice ombre mug. I got this one from Heat Press Nation. But this, and the colors would have been perfect. But um, pressure is key, pressure is key. You have to have um, the good pressure and the temperature. So, 
we're gonna see almost everything sublimated I should have put it back in for a second time just to you know see but nevertheless that's how everything turned out I'm just really really impressed with the Dollar Tree mug this one is my favorite I'm really impressed with the Dollar Tree mug guys like seriously and it, you don't feel anything it literally feels like it's in the mug just like how sublimation would feel okay guys so there you have it this is my review my very first time using the magic touch cpm 6.2 paper from heat press nation it's for the white toner only for hard surfaces so you know when you're using a white toner you have your a and b it's a two-step this is a one-step process as you saw all i did was put the paper inside of the white toner there was no merging of A and B paper, just one paper. So all I had to do is just cut it out and put it on my substrate, my mugs, my coasters. I tried the box, but I'm going to be trying the box again with different pressures, playing around with it. But it came out perfect, perfect. So the only one that messed up was the box and this one because I probably didn't have the right pressure. So definitely make sure you have the right pressure, the right time and temperature. There's plenty of videos. My affiliate link will be down below in the description box if you want to test it out. They do have two different brands on their website. So I wanted to try this one out. And I know, um, I think it might says for Uninet or something, but it doesn't matter what white toner printer you have. I have the Recoma, so it does not matter what white toner you have. You can use it for either one. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you who want to be able to put on full color images on those Dollar Tree mugs or any other mug that does not have that sublimation coat. This will help you get the job done. As always, I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notification bells, that way you're notified every time I post a new video. Until next time, take care.